Okay, continuing on with our tractor playlist. Really worked the little tractor this morning. This battery bank is actually, it looks small, but it's 2,200 pounds. And that's way beyond the capacity of my tractor. Um, but without my forks, I'd never be able to unload it from that truck. So what I did is just pulled it off the truck and set it down and skidded this thing about a quarter of a mile up to my shop. So you can do a lot with the, with the forks. I don't recommend beating your tractor that much. But the beauty of the disc, quick disconnect is I can leave this here and then I can disconnect the tractor um, from it. So one of the best uh, features I've ever added to this tractor, it's a $500 option, is to be able to use skid steer uh, attachments, the forks, the bucket, and my bale spear. So, so this will, allows me to run my business basically and tell um, the shippers that I am a commercial address because my tractor is my forklift. So it saves me a lot of money. Those forks have paid for themselves a hundred times over. So let me just disconnect now from the from the forks. Real simple. things you can do with the forks which I've learned is, is don't pinch your fingers <laughs> when you pull your forks to the center then you can remove them and uh, why would I do that well I have found this to be uh, my redneck backhoe I've actually you can stab this thing into the ground two to three feet to me how hard the soil is and I've actually trenched with this and in cases where I just needed to make a trench and didn't want to get a backhoe in just have somebody knock the dirt off but you can actually pick up a couple shovelfuls of dirt on that fork and just keep trenching with it it's a little abusive you want to keep your fork to the center as much as you can so you're not torquing your tractor but uh, in a pinch it makes a really good uh, <laughs> a trencher the other thing, uh, it's just it's just very handy. Whether they're cutting firewood, getting trees out of the ground, I'll, I'll put that video on too. Uh, just digging, loosening up soil. If you want to remove something like a stump, you can just jam this thing, loosen up the dirt. Uh, it's a great dirt loosener. I stick these into my compost pile occasionally, lift them up through the compost pile just to give it a stir. So I probably. I don't know, just carrying materials, pipes, trees, uh, equipment, four-wheelers gone and picked up lawnmowers, just uh, back end of cars, moving trailers around. The forks are awesome. So I highly recommend if you're going to get a front-end loader, you've got to have a set of forks. And having forks like these that fit a skid steer are very, very handy. All right. We just put them to the test with a 2,200 pound battery bank, so that was a little much on the tractor, so we shouldn't do that, but it, it is capable. Without a doubt, the uh, forks on a tractor are my favorite implement. Again, quick, quick disconnect, um, able to uh, pick up pretty good load. You can see some of the logs you can pick up with a small tractor. And be careful, you don't want to do too much nose diving, <laughs> or any nose diving. Um, the beauty of forks is they also double as a sawhorse, so I can lower this down so that I'm cutting both ends like a seesaw, and then I cut right in the middle so I don't have to bend over to pick up to cut any of this wood. And uh, so tractor is great, and that's the other beauty of a smaller tractor, getting in and out of the woods and uh, being able to, you know, just to fit and not fight a big tractor trying to get around. 
So, so she'll do a lot of work for you if you use her smartly. So, great, uh, you know, you don't need a log skater, but you can move a ton of firewood in a short period of time. This is just one dead oak I cut down on my property here. Um, and uh, just, you know, it's been a quite the winter, so I burn up most of my wood, but I'm just cutting, this year I made a, I determined not to, I didn't cut any green trees, cut all dead fall, and I still got plenty. So just clean it up. And uh, the tractor is a vital part of being able to do that quickly, cleanly, safely. All right, let's go get some more wood, Eli. Wow, I don't think that saw is going to be enough. I know it's not the approved holder, but the, the saw, I mean, the tractor also has a nice holder for my saw. And I carry a, a big knife cutting hay bales. And uh, we're just, Eli and I are logging today and carry a pretty good size log out with the tractor. And if it's too big, I'll just cut her in half. But you can haul a lot of wood quickly. And uh, it's fun.